Really what happened was the city came to our historical societies, a small little group of people that are by and large retired and the average age is probably 75 or so. And uh, they said, well, we'd like you to be the main sponsors of the Red Deer Centennial. And uh, to most, um, that may sound like a one-year effort, but in fact it uh, involved a considerable amount of, particularly her time, over four years. It was a volunteer um, thing that I ended up um, taking the lead on simply because at the time I was president of the Historical Society. We had such a, uh, just such a gung-ho group of people that everybody wanted to do more. So we had some terrific legacy projects. We had events that spanned the entire year. We started on December the 31st, 2012, and we finished on December the 16th, 2013. Involved uh, organizing 57 different uh, partnered activities during the year, almost, or over four a month. Sheila was really important in, in recruiting volunteers. She was also really important in recruiting support from businesses and, and local groups like that. But really more than anything, what she wanted to do was to involve Red Deerians in the celebration. We had events that engaged young people. I mean, little, little kids in making crafts. And we had the events that engaged people who were proud of having been members of Red Deer's community for, for decades, if not for generations. And, and I met people who were brand new to this community, some who were actually brand new to Canada, who were participating in an event down in City Hall Park or, or at Bower Ponds. She recruited the co-op to donate birthday cakes for the various events that she held. And I say she held because really she's the one. The Central Alberta Historical Society gets, gets the credit, but really it was Sheila Bannerman who did this. And, and in the end, she served cake to I think almost 20,000 people. How many hours she's, she uh, clocked and how many relationships she's, she's nurtured, those that she's had from before and those that were new ones. Um, yeah, it's really made a huge, huge impact on the city. She gives of herself. She has that vision, she's willing to dig in, make it happen, and the rest of the community benefits because she's, she's so committed to that cause. I'm an historian. I have a, a master's degree in history, which actually was a fairly recent acquisition. Since I graduated, I became involved with the Central Alberta Historical Society, the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery, the, um, uh, the Red Deer Heritage Preservation Committee, and, um, and then you know, obviously the Centennial thing, which was a, an offshoot of the Historical Society. Sheila is somebody who I have kind of looked up to in the last few years, just because she's so involved and gives so much of her, of her time and energy to the community. Uh, she's been a huge part of pulling the city together for our celebrations for the 2013 Centennial and a lot of other projects that she's been involved in with the museum, the Veterans Park. So that very inclusive um, nature, respect for, for all people, uh, that's a very big part of how uh, Sheila, Sheila sees the world and what I think she brought to, to the Centennial Year work and, and what she continues to bring to things she's involved with in the community. I don't think I've quite grasped the reality. I'm, I'm incredibly honoured. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I, I, I can't remember exactly what I said when Morris Welling phoned to let me know, but I, I honestly couldn't, couldn't quite believe it. I love this community, and it's, it's been a pleasure to, to serve a variety of different organizations. Well, I'm tremendously proud of her. Um, she's a, she, has a, she has a very humble and modest nature, and, and I actually think that's part of what makes her uh, a great person in this, in this community. She doesn't want to take credit for any of that, of course. She'll say, oh, it was the other people that helped, but uh, she, she hadn't been there, it wouldn't have happened. This is just a, an award that's well deserved for an outstanding community member. She's one of those lovely people to work with. Uh, rarely says no. Um, you know, whether it's a presentation she's giving, a, a project she's working on, uh, or a historical issue uh, where she adds her uh, advice and input. She's a great, uh, just a great Red Deer end. She's been really, really interesting working with the, the art and heritage and history of the city. On the one hand, I'm honored to receive the award. On the other hand, I see it as a, um, as a pledge of faith that I will continue to, to be a good citizen in Red Deer and that I will continue to work for the community and, uh, and, and make it as good as, as I can through my little contributions. Thank you.